Hi first graders, welcome back to our reading of Junie B. First Grader, Toothless Wonder. We're going to read chapter 2 today, Uncle Lou. The speaker came at 10 o'clock. Her name was Miss Chris. Miss Chris told us all about recycling. Also, she showed us a movie. It was called Dan, Dan the Soda Can. It was very thrilling, I tell you. Because Dan, Dan the soda can, lived in a soda machine at a gas station. And one day, a lady bought him to drink. Only too bad for Dan. Dan, because the lady drank his soda. And she threw him right out her car window. And Dan, Dan, got his can all dented. But hooray, hooray, a cop saw the lady littering. And he gave her a big, fat ticket. Then a can man took Dan, Dan, to a recycling center, and the man got cash money. Plus, Dan Dan got fixed up good as new, and bingo, he looked, he turned into Dan Dan, the orange juice can. It was a miracle, I tell you. Room one clapped and clapped and clapped. A happy ending. <laughs> then Miss Chris passed around stickers of Dan Dan the soda can for us to stick to our shirts. And the stickers said, recycling makes sense. Ha! Huh. Get it? Sense sounds like sense. And that is a good one, I think. After that, all of us went to lunch and recess, and we were still in happy moods on the playground. Jose and Lenny and Shirley asked to see my loose tooth. Then, pretty soon, the other children wanted to see it too. And so finally, I stood them all in a row, and I let them look real close. After they looked, I walked down the row, and I showed them how far I could bend it. Herb clapped and clapped. Jose and Lenny whistled. Sheldon tried to pick me up. That is not a normal reaction, I think. You're going to look cool when it finally comes out, Junie B, said Herb. See, si, said Jose, you're going to look really cool, like a hockey player, I bet. Yes, yeah, said Lenny. Hockey players almost never have any teeth. Neither do kickboxers, said Shirley. Maybe you'll look like a kickboxer, Junie B. Just then, Sheldon did a sigh. <sighs> I just hope you don't look like my toothless Uncle Lou, he said. My toothless Uncle Lou never brushed or flossed, and then all his teeth fell out. I made a sick face. Sheldon shrugged. Well, it's not like he's totally toothless, he said. He still has one bottom tooth left. It's kind of yellow, but it still can bite an apple. After that, Sheldon walked away. I watched him go. Then I sat down in the grass, and I tried and tried not to think of toothless Uncle Lou. After school, me and her rode the bus home together. We sit with each other every single day, except not on Saturdays or Sundays or weekends. Me and Herb talk about lots of stuff on the bus, only today I didn't feel like talking hardly because I was so upset about looking like Uncle You-Know-Who. I slumped down in my seat, very glum. What if I look like a weirdo, I said. Huh, Herb? What if I look like toothless Uncle Lou? Herbert patted me. Don't worry, you won't. Probably. I kept on worrying. Yeah, only today is Friday, Herb, I said, and so by Monday my tooth will already be out, I bet. And so what if I come to school looking like toothless Uncle Lou? And then all of room one starts making fun of me. <sighs> and they form a circle around me and they laugh and skip and throw fruit. Then all of a sudden I did a guess. Because <gasps> an even worser problem popped in my head. I grabbed Herb's shirt. Oh no, Herb, oh no, I said. What if I don't even look like myself on Monday? Not even a teeny it, I mean and then I get on this bus and you don't even recognize me and so you pass right by my seat and then I have to sit by myself all alone and toothless Herb looked down at his shirt he said to please take my hands off of him he smoothed himself out 
Maybe you should look on the bright side, Junie B, he said. Even if all of that bad stuff happens, which it won't, probably, you'll still end up with a bunch of money from the Tooth Fairy, right? And that's good, isn't it? As soon as he said that, chill bumps came on my skin and my stomach got butterflies in it. I quick looked out the window so Herb couldn't see my face. Guess what? The Tooth Fairy is a whole nother can of worms. And that is the end of chapter number two.